Well, Bounty Hunter hasn't been out for too long, but a player who goes by the name of Barrow CC has found a way to accidentally smuggle the protection prayers into Bounty Hunter itself. And he stumbled across this by standing on a very specific title near the center of the waiting room and turning on a protection prayer. And that is the only tile this works on. And if you step off it, your protection prayers go down. But he had the idea of teleporting to his BH target with the protection prayers activated so he gave it a go and it completely worked he has a protection prayer on in the bounty hunter area and everyone around him could see it it wasn't just visual and he said he had a few players attack him and it 100% is actually activated not just there for the visual effect so if you've seen a few players running around with a protection prayer on this is why they can't change it, but it does seem to be active. Jagex will need to hot fix this very quickly. G'day legends, about half of you who watch every single day are not subscribed and 84,000 would just look so much better than 84,312. Please drop us up. Could you believe Foe's about to receive a mega rare from this hard clue, but he doesn't even notice. Just for you guys for trying HelloFresh, unique item here. All right, that was not nearly as cool as I wanted it to be. Uh, it's actually not a bad bando uh, item. Yeah, that's decent. Black. Okay, okay. Almost rocking the full bando's runite armor, but here's his reaction when his chat told him he just received the noted potions. Uh, uh I'm sorry. I'm. Wait, what? No. <laughs> no. Why do I have 15 <laughs> noted super restores in my in my inventory? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Oh, I, I didn't wow. sit the ruck. No! Reserve. Just imagine the hype if that was Gilded or Third Age. But let's switch over to Tommy, who's not happy with the Unskullers in BH. Why do I fight Unskullers? Why do I fight and risk HP versus people that don't even risk a f penny, bro? They literally have 50k risk. They have all the best OP gear in the game, and I can't even skip them because it gives me a penalty. Jagex, fix your f game, man! Make it so I can skip these f***ing skull little deals, please! Some members of the community are saying the PKers are never happy even when they get PK updates after waiting years and years. But I feel there do needs to be something in there where you can skip your target if they are unskulled. They're basically risking nothing but can still get some very decent PKs. But all I've heard about since Bounty Hunter's release is the unskulling pandemic. They seem to be running around everywhere. But the other thing we're hearing about is how OP this spec is. 90 health! I was! What am I to do, Jagex? What am I to do? That stack was 95 damage. That's going to take out just about anyone in the game. It does make PK super exciting. Let's see if the donator enjoys it. I triple eight though. Yo, I triple eight and died. Can someone clip that for me, bro? I literally sent off the full triple before I died. It seems that's one of the hardest things in the game to defend. If you get some bad RNG, there's pretty much nothing you can do. We recently saw JBD looking very pretty wearing a dress while doing his subathon, but he is still live and he's been getting a lot of subs. One of the forfeits was to spin this wheel. And I actually can't believe the items he put on it. It's only a Shadow Staff, a Tebow, or a Scythe to Alk on. He's Iron Man. No! There was only ever going to be pain after spinning that wheel. Probably the Tebow's the worst, but that's still going to take an extremely long time to get back. At least he's a man of his word, and he's only a couple of hundred subs off 2,000, which means he gets a tattoo that the chat decides. And uncapped subathons seem to be the thing for streamers nowadays. Jono's been streaming for days on end, but the time is almost under one hour. Bro, the dopamine I'm about to get when this f drops under one hour, We're bro. We're all just f sending each other's...
I'm just in the middle of my sentence. Straight back up to eight hours, and I clicked over to his stream where he's currently sleeping, but he's got like 15 hours to go, and to put seven hours on the clock for $200, these guys are working for absolute pennies. But I guess getting paid $30 an hour to sleep isn't too bad. Lake has now completed nine mega scales on his Iron Man and only received four uniques, despite actually receiving seven purples, but he does have another on this one. Good luck. Purple? Oh, it is a top, isn't it? Zandy. Oh, so close, man. So close. Eight items from 10 runs is still extremely good. I think he sits at about 67% chance of getting a purple doing such high mega scales. But they literally take hours and hours. He needs to get a couple of better items coming in soon. And I thought Lake was done after that next arcane, but it turns out he kept sending them on the very next stream half a million points. And of course, it's a back-to-back -back purple. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Tebow! No! Oh! THCB, wow. Yo, for DS2, man. Oh my god, that's big, man. That raid took him almost three hours, but I am thoroughly enjoying seeing him getting so many purples, but the farmers wanted to see some items as well, and it was their time to head on over to DK's. Hey, yo. Hey, nice. Hey, Let's go. A generous whopping 22k valuation on that sucker. Hey, oh. No way. The mud staff is not the ring that they were expecting, but Foe had some bizarre RNG. Oh, uh, why? Okay. <laughs> why? You are the master of getting those. <laughs> Dude. Okay, go west side. I'll pull Rex, up. Rex, 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 Rex. And that nice little spear we just saw him pull actually comes in at a 1 out of 5,000 drop rate, so about the same as the pet. Rabbi Weasel is a very good PKer, but he was just biding his time waiting out in this location, and a PKer came bounding over. Oh my god! 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 Oh my god, dude! I've been waiting on something like that. Woo! <laughs> got me one, baby! <laughs> the guy that just got PK'd had an insane amount of risk. 265 million. And I do believe he got smited for that good old Karassi. Or perhaps not, because what on earth is that helm he's wearing? This hardcore was just casually finishing off a lizard shaman slayer task. More hammer, please. Here we go, behemoth. Yo, oh my god, I actually got it. I actually said it, Behemoth. Holy crap. No way. Guys, I just got it. Oh my gosh, I just got it. Oh, oh my god, and I actually shouted out Behemoth as well. No way. And to pull that beautiful little red bopper, the fella could not believe it because that one was at just 250k C for one of the earliest we will see. Rudy trying to get a couple of insold heads and Denise offered him this. 40 in sold heads. I'll give you some willow branches. <laughs> That's Roy's currency for this group. Uh, I have uh, 49 chaos druid heads, if that interests you. <laughs> hmm, what do those give? Oh, I also got some heads. I got four giant heads. Do you want them? Uh, I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> I don't think it'd be worth it is. for that. It seems he wasn't very interested, but she might not have caught that because she said one of the funniest things in this video after. Eggers can't be choos choosers, Rorda. You, you gotta go for it, bro. Hey, you want head or nah? <laughs> thing is that we we have the baby dragon ones. It's just so many. Roidy not taking any notice at all, but what a committed group member Denise is. BTC is currently in a death match that has a total pot of 46 billion GP. Oh no. Oh my god, what is this, bro? What was that? A very nice comeback, and here's a little picture of what he just won. This man is literally rolling in GP. Hope he doesn't get hacked too soon. Tark Shop has found his bounty hunter target, but he's not too impressed. Dude, this game is his life. Bro, what? Someone what the fuck? Lincoln Park, are you serious, man? Another very quick kill, but Adicom was ready for his opponent despite this guy having some of the new gear. 
What the f***? <laughs> That's broken. He practically maxed me. And just look at how hard those specs are. The only person we see spec harder than that is skill specs himself, but he's finished with PKing and trying to go out for a death match. Yo, Dubsky, thanks for trying though, man. I appreciate it. This guy tries so many times, bro. Skill Specs is ready for when this occurs with lots of food and just calmly changing his protection prayer while this guy's going absolutely crazy, running around like a madman, and Skill Specs just steps out of the dangerous zone. And if you would like to step into the danger zone of my heart, make sure to drop a like on this video.